What's up YouTube? Hello again, I'm Broder Hunter, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do a taper. The quickest and easiest way to do a taper, I should say. Now, a lot of barbers think that taper is something that requires so much intricate touch and technology and all kinds of stuff, but it's really not that hard at all. It's very simple, but with practice and everything, you get a lot better at it. So I'm gonna actually be using my Babyliss Pro FX I'm going to use my gamma hitters as my liners, and then I'm going to use the Anderson Slim Pro, one of my favorites, to finish up doing the sharp stuff and everything, make sure it's nice and crisp on the beard, you know how we do. The thing that I like to do is I like to actually work backwards, so... In previous tutorials, you guys, have, you guys have seen me start off with, start with my bald line, and then I work my way up, but I've actually found that the easiest way to do a taper is to start off on your higher hair, get all the bulk out first, and then work your way down. So right now my hair is about a number four on the top right now, and then it's gonna go down to maybe like a, a point five. so basically the clipper open. So I have my number two guard, my number one and a half guard, my one guard, and my one sixteenth guard. So I'm using these four guards for this particular tutorial, and you can use whatever guards you wish, but this is the ones I think are the most effective. And right now I'm going to start off with my number two guard on my Babyliss. I'm gonna do like a mid taper right about here. Some people like to do the high tapers, but this tutorial will be a mid taper, so. I'm gonna basically just blend out all of this right here and then we're gonna work our way down, cool? Right now I have my comb. You see where my ear is right here? I'm only gonna work on these, this basically this area right here. I'm not gonna go back here, I'm not gonna go over here. I'm just only gonna work along these sides and then when I get down, I'll work my lower guard. So let's do that real quick. Stop. Hello guys, I do not mean to pause the video on you, but this will take just one second. I have a giveaway for you. I've been MIA for a second and I feel sorry for it, so I wanna give you guys this bag. What's gonna happen is a code is gonna pop up somewhere in this video, and all you have to do is memorize that code and go to Self Care Abroad and comment under the most recent video with that code for your chance to get this bag. This is the Man Up bag from Ujjayi, and it contains all my favorite goodies, so it has the scrub I was talking about, it has the balm, what I always use my tutorials the face and beard wash elite and one of my favorite things ever that i cannot live without the serum so i want to give you guys not only this bag but everything in it so look for the code and uh comment on the video on the self-care broad post and yeah let's get back to it now i'm gonna open it and as you can see all the bulk is starting to fade away So now, as you can see, everything is basically evened out up to where I need it right now. For my next trick, I'm gonna put on my number one guard. Now, normally people would do the one and a half guard next, but this is gonna be used to get off all the bulk in between, trust me. So with my one guard closed now, I'm gonna work my way up to about the middle part, right above that earlobe, and just scoop out. After that, I'm gonna go with the grain now. Right above that. And then on to make it back up. You can also open it to get everything in between. Now that's done. Now we have our second level. So if you look very closely right here, I have slight inconsistency from the one guard to the two guard. But we're not gonna touch that just yet. We're actually gonna uh, take off our guard and just work right here and blend that out. And then after that, we're gonna do the 116th, do the lineup and we're all done. Right now, my clipper is open. And I'm gonna stop on my 116th real quick. And this is the small guard right under the number one guard. And we're just gonna work and get that bulk out right there. And you can open it. Now for the final step, I'm gonna just take the one and a half guard and just get the bulk everywhere in between my 116th to my number two. Notice how I'm still staying in the range from my ear all the way to my temp. 
So now that it seems that this is all blended in, what I can now do is go back and forth in between my guards. So right here, I'm gonna take my 1 16th and just kind of brush it in right there, just very lightly. Okay, so the blending is basically done, guys. The next step we're gonna do now is just to knock out this lineup. Uh, with this particular cut, you just wanna play in the range of where you already cut your hair. You don't wanna go too deep in, unless that's your style, but I personally like to kind of just tap along the edges and the sides that would keep it relatively natural, but the choice is yours. So I always start about right on the edge. I'm gonna work my way down. Be sure to apply pressure. Then after that, I take the same step and just tap the line up, right to the edge. So we have one side, and we have the other side. One side, and the other side. As you can see, I did this with um, just my single mirror, just being able to see eye to eye with myself. You know, I didn't use a self-cut system mirror this time, but if you ever want to, it's there, but this cut can be easily achieved without using any of the three system mirrors. Something that, you know, if you don't have the luxury of only one, it's okay. I'm gonna knock out this other side real quick. It's in like two seconds. 